Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you this little thing. I was quite pleased with the way this has turned out. Um, as you can see, it's a, what they call a PAV clock, persistence of vision. Now this uh, kit that you can see here, uh, it's sold on Banggood. If you go to Banggood and look for a cross LED dot matrix, put that in the search, you'll find it. And it's uh, currently selling for £7.31 UK, which is about 11 US dollars. Now it's uh, amazing value for money. Um, problem is you don't get uh, much in the way of instructions and it's quite a difficult build. But uh, you saw I just switched it on, it, it starts off at 11 11. Um, so how do you set the time? Well, I've, uh, we just stop it going round. You'll see that when the uh, this little uh, thing here is an infrared LED and when the sensor goes over it, it lights up those two LEDs so we can see that it's working. Um, and that's also the way we set it. So right now the time, it's, uh, it's coming up to 21.15. So I'll set it to 21.16 uh, uh, to show you how you do it. So we uh, illuminate that. And we get that pattern. We're setting the hours and we want one, two, that's 20 hours. Now we look for the next pattern. Two LEDs, we've set another flash, that's 21 hours. I'm waiting for three flashes and we want 10 minutes. Oops, now I've set it to 20 now. I'll go for 25. One, two, three, four, five. So now, when we get that pattern, that should be set now, if I've got it right, to uh, 21, 25, did I say? So if you want to get it exact, you wait till a couple of seconds before that time and switch it on because it keeps setting to that time until it spools up. And there we are, it is 21, 25. Uh, and that's about it really. Um, I'll show you the kit because uh, I've bought another one of these. Uh, I'm not really intending to, uh, to build it up but I thought it was worth it just to get the um, the transformer part of it. I'll just stop that. That's what you get. Nice Chinese box. Lots of Chinese writing. Inside they seem to have recycled a, a doorbell case to put it in. Um, and you get this thing. You can see there's a little electric motor to spin it round. And most importantly, this, this coil, and there you can see the other part of the coil. This is the transformer that takes the power up to the uh, LEDs. Uh, as I say, it is quite difficult to build. I won't uh, go into details here, but if you look on the Vault Log YouTube channel, uh, Vault Log number 15, I think it is, uh, he's done a, a detailed... Uh, build instructions. Um, the other thing is uh, it doesn't come with any program in it. So uh, I'll cover, I'll maybe cover how you load a program into it uh, on a separate video. Uh, thanks for watching.